Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you how to set up a loan in QuickBooks and how to apply a down payment. I have a different video where I show you how to set up a loan with no down payment. I have a video where I show you how to set up a loan, put the down payment, and just apply it towards the loan balance so you can see the whole history. In this video, we're going to set up the loan, we're going to have a down payment, but we're not going to tie the down payment to the loan. We're just going to have it go directly to the asset. So let's begin. The first thing you're going to want to do if you haven't done it already is to go to your chart of accounts and to add the relevant asset as well as the loan account. So let me take you to my chart of accounts. What I've done to make my life a little bit easier is put it in the bookmarks. If you haven't already done this, let me show you how to do it. You'll click on the pencil to the right of bookmarks. You'll search for what you want. So in this case, it's the chart of accounts. You'll click the box, click on save, it magically appears on the left. So now I click on chart of accounts. What I've done is I've set this up and I've said it's going to be called super fast car and loan for super fast car. My super fast car is set up as a fixed asset for the detail type. I always pick the first thing on the list. I never go through and try to find something that might match or feel more appropriate. This looks big and important, but it's not. Nobody is going to look at how you set up your QuickBooks to decide where something should go in your tax return. Your tax professional is going to know. You pick the icon for asset, save it under fixed assets, any tax form selection that makes your heart happy, an account name that makes sense, probably not 2024 super fast car, click on save. One thing I do want to point out when I set this up, I, I didn't enter any sort of opening balance. So if I click on new and I click on assets, there's this tiny little button that says starting date and opening balance. Don't do it. You do that, we're going to spend time fixing it. Just don't do it. The second thing I created was this loan for super fast car. So if I click on the drop down and I select edit, it's a liability account. It's a long-term liability because it'll take me more than one year to pay off the loan for my imaginary car. If I was going to pay it off in less than a year, I would pick current liability. Again, with the tax form, you pick whatever makes your heart happy. The account name, try to make it an account name that makes sense to you and for anybody who's looking at your books, your bookkeeper, your tax preparer, whatever. I just called it loan for super fast car so that when I'm searching, I can search for the word super and find everything that I need for these videos. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. So here's what we've got. We want to set up our loan and then we want to make a payment from the checking account towards the down payment on the car. I think setting up the loan first is easiest. I'll show you how we can do this. We're in the chart of accounts already, so we might as well stay here. Let's go to the loan. The first thing we want to do is tell QuickBooks about our loan. So loan for super fast car, long term liability. We're just going to go over and click on view register. So now we have a register. It's completely blank. We're going to click on the button that says add journal entry. So now it just gives us a blank line behind the scenes. There are debits and credits. What I like about this view is I don't have to know my debits and credits. I just have to think logically. I'm looking at the register for my loan. My balance is currently zero. I need to increase my balance because I took out a loan. So I already know most of what I have to put in here. So let's make the date um, 1 1 24. Let's say that I took out a loan for $20,000. This account box it, it basically is saying, what's the buddy account? All journal entries have a debit and a credit. The debits and credits, they balance. So it's basically saying, cool, you took out a loan for $20,000. You're going to increase your loan, but why? The answer to this 
is because you took out a loan for the car. So I'm just going to search for a super fast car. I'll click on save on the right. Now when I click on it and I click edit, we're going to see the journal entry screen with the debits and credits. We could have gone here in the first place. If you just automatically know this thing is debited and that thing is credited, fantastic. If you don't, then I think you'll like the trick of using the register. So let's close this out. Let's go to the balance sheet just so you can see what it looks like right now. We'll change it to all dates. So if I look at my assets, right now it says I have an asset of a super fast car for $20,000. But I know that it was actually $25,000 because I put down $5,000 for my imaginary car. We'll deal with that in a second. If I continue to scroll down, I look at my loan for a super fast car and I'm like, yes, that's right. My make-believe loan is $20,000. So the only thing that's wrong now is that my asset is too small. It doesn't know that I actually paid more money for the car. That's an easy fix. That money came out of the checking account. So this could come out of bank feeds. So you could go to bank transactions and it could show up here. In our case, I didn't make a make-believe Excel document for it to magically show up. So I'll show you how to do it the other way. What we'll do is we'll click on plus new in the upper left hand corner. When it opens, we'll go to the header called vendors and then we'll come down to check. In make believe land, I will have written a check. Let's say that this is um, super fast car dealership. So who gets the check? The super fast car dealership. And I'm, I'm not gonna fill in their email, their phone number. Like, I'm never going to use this to look up that stuff. I'll use Google. So I'm just going to say save. Where does the money come from? Well, my down payment came from my operating account. And when did I make this payment? January 1st. I celebrated the new year by going shopping. My check number? If this is the right check number, that's great. If it's not the right check number, just put in the right check number. So it's 313 as I record this. That's what I use as my make believe check number. If you didn't write a check, you could use expense. If it comes through the bank feeds, you could just classify it from there. Down here where it says category, QuickBooks is asking you, where did the money go? Like you gave super fast car dealership some money. Why did you give it money? And the answer is because you put down a down payment on the super fast car. This had nothing to do with the loan because the loan was for the extra. So you're like, I, I need to apply this money towards the super fast car that I bought. In Make Believe Land, we're going to say it was $5,000. So I say, okay, check to the dealership out of my bank account, $5,000 for my super fast car, the asset. Let me click on save and close. We will go back to the balance sheet. and run report. Now we want to look at it. Like checking account, $5,000 smaller. Yeah, that happens. The car, now QuickBooks is smart and it says the car is $25,000 and that's correct. This is obviously a long time ago when you could buy a fast car for $25,000. What I did is I just clicked on the numbers so that I could see the behind the scenes. The reason the car has an asset value of $25,000 is because I recorded a loan for 20 and I recorded a down payment for five. So I'm feeling good about that. Let me just go further down and I want to make sure my loan is still okay. When I look at my loan, it still says 20,000. This is perfect. I didn't mess up my loan. My loan in make believe land is for 20,000, but my, my car itself is 25,000. So I was able to record the money that came out of my bank account, record the purchase of the car, and record the loan that I've taken out. That's it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much.